Today, the NHS is setting out the next steps in the use of AI, artificial intelligence and machine learning in particular, across our national health service. What we're seeing with the 42 initiatives which we are funding, each with a share of £50 million, are a huge breadth of practical applications that will drive improvements in diagnosis, in screening, in care quality, and in the way in which we use the precious time of skilled health professionals. The sheer breadth of these programmes, whether it's colon, polyps, screening, whether it's cardio, vascular diagnosis, whether it's early detection for sepsis, whether it's age-related uh, wet macular deterioration, eyesight, the potential which we're seeing made practical through these AI schemes means, I believe, that when the history of medicine comes to be written with its next chapter, AI will be bracketed alongside other developments in our history, be it the stethoscope or the blood test or the x-ray. But we are by no means uh, content that this represents the totality of the possibility. So there will be further rounds, further waves of application opportunity for the hundreds of uh, innovators and researchers with ideas that they would like to put into practice in the NHS, including in social care, community health services, other aspects of the interactions that patients and the public have with the NHS. So today is about a practical start uh, it is firing the starting gun and it is um, unleashing what is likely to be one of the biggest changes in medicine we've seen in many decades.